candle wax followed by cake followed by pork pie and followed by more cake Madeira cake and that's how I remember things it's just a sequence of tastes synesthesia is uh, probably best described because bear in mind it's quite a complex uh, complex thing that's going on there but it's best described as a union or merging of the senses certainly in my case uh, it's, it best describes it um, it's where uh, you get one sense is stimulated by something say you hear something and with a synesthete it automatically produces a response an involuntary response because it just happens in another sense so for example a synesthete may hear a colour I didn't think I was any more unusual or normal less normal more normal it's exactly the same as everybody else I mean why would I think differently it's just something that's always been there it's very natural I've always been intrigued with the, uh, the link between synesthesia and memory and um, I must admit, when I went back to where I, I was brought up as a child, it was a really strange sensation because I remember coming out of the tube station and it was weird because I could look around and things didn't match. I, I got a synesthetic taste for something that should have been there and it wasn't there anymore. To give you an example, I remember standing outside the sweet shop directly opposite the tube station and I was on a particular spot and I could taste something but there was nothing there it was a very strong tangy sweet taste and um, I subsequently found out that there used to be a lamppost there I knew it was a lamppost or something similar simply because when I looked around at the other lampposts I got the same exactly the same taste Funnily enough, uh, th this is, I mean, I've had synesthesia for as long as I can remember, but I've never actually noticed or at least taken notice of these um, weird mismatches because that's exactly what it is. It's like looking at a, a picture and then an overlay, um, but they're tastes and there's something on one that isn't on the other. But the thing that I find the most fascinating about synesthesia is it's made me realise that uh, people are obviously different. They're obviously very, very different but they're different on a very basic level because 10 people can look at an object, 10 people can look at a green apple and get 10 different perceptions from it and 10 totally different ones. It just shows me that everybody looks at things in a different way. Couple that with the fact that I think everybody's got a touch of synesthesia anyway. Um, I think it's worth looking at yourself because it gives you the opportunity of saying to yourself, well, why don't I like this? Why do I like that?